Okay, let's give you guys some more practice. So uh, given this sequence, given this sequence, if you put one into here, if you put one into here, that would then uh, be one, one, and then if you put one into here, that would be this here. So this thing here would be one. Um, if you put, by the way, um, what, what does this even mean? Well, if, if you have square root of, let's say, if you have, say, let's say, square root of two, say, um, it, it would mean that a number multiplied by itself would give you the number two. So that's what the square root means. If you have a cube root of something, cube root of something, let, let's say cube root of, of three here, uh, cube root of three, it would be you searching for an, a number. When you times by itself, it would give you three. So when you have this, um, I guess it means a number itself gives you itself, if that makes sense. But anyway, uh, this would be uh, would be one. So the first term would be one. The second term here would be uh, would be would be the square root of two. Third term here, third term here would be three. Put this into here, so it would be the cube root of three, and so on. So as this sequence continues towards infinity. What would be the limit of this sequence? Basically, I want to know the limit of this sequence as n heads towards infinity. So press pause and have a go. Okay, so to do this, um, to do this, let, let's say th this, this is what we want to know. We want to know the limit of, uh, of this sequence as n tends towards infinity. Let's just say we want to know capital L, which is the limit of this thing here. Okay, so so uh, so we want to know capital L. So let's just say capital L is what we want to find. We want to find out the limits of the sequence as n tends towards infinity. So let's just say we are trying to seek capital L. So from here, visualize this thing as um, as n to the power. R remember, if if you have uh, uh, cube root of x, say that's the same as x to the power of a third. If you have uh, square root of x. Uh, so if you have square root of, if you have uh, square root of x, that's the same as x to the power of a half. So if you have to the uh, to the root n, then then you can imagine it as being n to the power of one over n. So uh, so now now that you're here, when whenever when when you're finding out when you're trying to find limits, if you if you ever encounter something to a power of another thing, you should be thinking about natural law. So so from here. From here, take the natural log of both sides. That will then give you well. When you when you take the natural log of this, um, this will come down. Natural log. So so it will be this natural log of uh, of n. So basically, from here, take the natural log of both sides. That will then give you this, and then uh, and then now tidy this up. So this so here you've got one thing multiplying another thing. It gets multiplied to the top. So that will then give you this. And we've seen this in the previous video. Yeah, it, it, blah 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 blah. We've seen in the previous video the limit here is is um, is zero. So so here you've got natural log of L equals zero. So from here you would you would um, you would e equally to both sides, exponentiate equally to both sides. That would then in a way these two cancel out, giving you giving you uh, L L equals L equals e to the power zero. E to the power zero is one. So the limit. Uh, so so the sequence will head towards one. So this sequence here, hang on, hang on. This sequence here is heading towards the number one. Okay.